Hopefully I can get a hold of Nina. Maybe she can convince Peter to pull the interview. Max, look, I know you're upset. Upset? <laughs> I'm not upset. I'm afraid for our lives, Nathan. Yours, mine, and this baby's. Damn it, she's not answering. Okay, maybe I can get a hold of Spinelli. He might be able to pull it from the digital edition before anyone sees it. It's too late. The interview's been picked up by the wire services. Literally tens of millions of people are reading it right now. Uh, so you're saying there's no way of stopping the whole world from knowing that- I am Faison's son. It is done. Oh my God, I cannot believe this is happening. Max, you gotta understand, okay? The whole reason that I gave Lulu the interview was to draw Faison out of hiding. Great idea. Maybe for your next trick, you could take a baseball bat to a wasp's nest because why would you do that? So we can stop living in fear and put the guy behind bars for the rest of his life. Stop living in fear? Faison feeds on fear. In my dreams, he's like a scraggly Freddy Krueger. Hey, Maxie, I know that you're upset, but you have to calm down for the baby. The baby? The baby that Faison steals in my dreams? The baby that thanks to you, Lulu, he will probably come after in real life? And to think I was just singing your praises to Peter, how my best friend Lulu is a born reporter, and how she won't stop until she gets the big story. Well, you got it all right. That's enough. What you just said about Lulu is absolutely right. She is a born reporter, and you of all people should thank her. Thank her? My husband, my child, and I are all in the crosshairs because she thought of her career before anything else. Nathan knew the risks when he agreed to do the interview. And as for Lulu, she did a damn fine job putting the piece together. And if you're her best friend, you should be proud of her. Mr. August, I need your word that if this article turns up any results, any clue that could lead to Faison, that you'll share that information with the PCPD. Uh, Maxie, hey, what's going on? Uh, I don't know, but it hurts. Uh, okay, okay, I'm taking you to GH. Okay, I'm coming with you. I think you've done enough. Oh my God. What have I done? Maxie, what's wrong? I don't know, it just started happening. She's been having abdominal pain. Dr. Nero, please don't let anything happen to our baby. The sonogram shows that the mother and baby are doing just fine. Don't get me wrong, I am so glad that it's nothing. I just wish nothing didn't feel like a sword fight in my belly. I know, I know. Can you take her home, put her to bed, and please keep stress to a minimum? Okay, and I'll see you at our next scheduled appointment. But if you have any problems before that, please call, okay? Thanks, Dr. Nero. Sure. Okay. Keep stress to a minimum. How am I supposed to do that now that we know Cesar Faison is this baby's hey, grandfather? I promise nothing bad is gonna happen to you or the baby. I just want this to be over. I want my nightmares to stop. I'm actually afraid to sleep. Think of it this way. If you wake up tomorrow, it'll be our wedding anniversary. You forgot, huh? No. I knew you forgot. Uh, almost. I'm sorry. I blame Faison. It's okay. I didn't forget. And I promise be a day that you will treasure forever. <laughs>